Good evening and welcome to Girl for a Minute. I am Char. And I'm Pascal. How are you this oh, 12.05 a.m. morning? <laughs> good morning. I'm doing good. good. Morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm happy to be here. The work week is over and Me I can too. Uh, take a deep breath. Yes. Thank God for that. Yeah. 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 Well, so. I always look forward to us talking on Friday, you know, like you well, always said, you're my date. It's our I date. Love, <laughs> yes. And it's a very special date for me. So it's given, a very special given date. that I don't go on very many dates anymore. So. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Yes, this it's is our, it. It's our golden girl years. <laughs> I started absolutely. now. <laughs> absolutely. Yes. We're now officially dating one another every Friday, late night, early morning. Yes. I well, look forward to it. Speaking of the Golden Girls, you know, I was I've been watching them now. Um, usually oh. ha- the Hallmark Channel. Yeah. After Christmas time, the Golden Girls start coming on. So. Yeah, they're on year round except during Christmas. They kind of get put on other channels, but. Yeah. Um. I grew up watching that with my mom, and so I still watch it, yeah. um, and I absolutely still love every single episode. They are never old to me. Yeah, and me too. Yeah. I watch every single one. I don't care. They're repeats, and I, yep. and I know which one is what, but I love them. Yep, I love them. I love them. Yeah, they're I, fantastic, and I'm yeah. so bummed. I was so bummed when Betty White passed. Oh I know gosh. she was the last of the clan. She, she was, the was last of the group to pass. She was. I was. Yeah. I was going in. Baycare Urgent Care had just called me in to be COVID tested for work, and um, I was in the parking lot heading in. I opened up Facebook and it just popped right up, and I was like, No, ah, <laughs> she's days away from a hundred. No. Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> They could have at least waited. I'm telling you. So she got to be 100. Let her live to 100. Yeah, so close. Oh, it's okay. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Matter of fact, I was watching the proposal last weekend, and she's in that. Did you? Yes, I watched that. I watched, I can watch that a million times as well with her because she's just funny. Yes, she (laughs) is. She's hilarious. She was a classy lady. She was one of my favorites. I also, when uh, when Blanche died, oh, Blanche, yes, Blanche Devereaux, when she yep. died, also that kind of was like, oh no, Blanche is dead. Oh. I know. Well, I was upset when they all died. I, you know, Estelle yeah. Getty and yeah. Dorothy uh, B. Arthur. Yeah. So yeah. it was. It was. I don't know. They just don't make them like that anymore. So no, they sure don't. Which is why I watch all the reruns. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Even my kids are like, "Oh my God, please change the channel." <laughs> Definitely, I know. I'm like, "Why don't you leave the room? <laughs> why don't you go somewhere? TV. There's too many rooms in here. Go over there. <laughs> go to the other you side. <laughs> you, you have your own TV. Why? Why are you bothering me about what's on mine? So yeah. exactly. Yeah, so I know that. And they're like, oh, God, MASH again. (laughs) I like MASH, too. Some people Uh, couldn't understand why I like that. But I loved it. I don't. I haven't met anyone who doesn't like MASH. It's, you know, another goodie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you tell tell the the new age kids now about MASH, they're like, what are you talking about? Oh, you can't tell them anything anyway, so. No, you can't. (laughs) (laughs) And my kids are like, yeah, we know about that show. We know about that one. Yeah, she watches all that still. She's still watching it. (laughs) Oh, it's good. Again, go to your room. (laughs) Exactly. Go to your room or look at your phone. Uh, Do something. (laughs) Put your your head things on. What do you call them? Put your earbuds in. Your buds in. Yeah, your buds in. (laughs) Yeah. So, yeah. So, but yeah, the good shows, the good old shows, so. I can always watch them, and and I still can watch Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> oh, where does that come on? I miss that. Um, it's different channels. Sometimes here it's Channel 68, which is that's a Hallmark channel, isn't it? I don't even yes. know. But um, and then sometimes it's on other channels, and I'm pretty sure you can find it on demand. Probably can find it on Netflix. Oh, but, okay, perfect. Um, well, maybe I'll just do that. I've actually thought about. 
I that's what I thought about doing recently. It's like I'm I running out of things to watch. Oh no, you got to. <laughs> you got I don't to. think I did anyway. I don't know. I can't no. really remember. I remember. Yeah, no. So I may do that again. I may um uh, I may watch it from the beginning. Nice. So I'm gonna do the same. Yeah, I'll have to yes. look it up. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. It's yeah. look it up. It's worth it. It's worth yes, it. Definitely. definitely. You know. So Yeah. What's the topic today? I asked the question, is emotional cheating a real thing? I had over 300 responses. Oh, wow. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> right? I love that. <laughs> Woohoo. So, um, and of course, the answers varied, you know, based on on well circumstances and I can see why so do you think emotional cheating is a real thing I do yes you do I do so what what makes it emotional cheating for you what would it be what would put it over that line um I think if someone is like not paying attention to me being preoccupied maybe with something else nowadays people are on their phones all the time you just don't know what your partner may be looking at on your phone um they could be talking to someone uh in a flirty kind of way in a flirty type of way uh i i mean for me i feel like that's you know that's cheating. Uh, I, well, yeah, and that also comes into trust. Yes. So, but without it being, what would make it, what would it be, say you had, I have guy friends. Okay. And some of them I've had since I was four years old. Okay. And okay. our families have traveled together, vacation together grew up fishing together. Okay. They they were part of my life through the ugliness of my parents, everything. Uh, sometimes they were there to help me and get me out of the house and stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, and I can talk to him about anything. And he's probably uh, one of the most loyal, trustworthy friends I've ever had. It's never been anything more. So would that be emotional cheating? Because I've known him almost my whole entire life. I mean, to me, I don't think so, because I don't think you've ever stepped over the line. No, no. I and mean, right. that's what I'm saying. There's obviously a line. So right. can you have guy friends and can guys have girlfriends, which I know is an old age question. And everyone's like, no, you can't have guys always want to have sex. Anyways, can you, <laughs> can you have because they think with their loin? That's <laughs> Pascal. <No. laughs> Different. God, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. But seriously, because I've always had better luck. I have few close friends. You all know who you are. But I have probably just as many or more guy friends that are good close friends that I've known the majority of my life. Well, I mean, I have a I feel like I have a better connection with guys as friends uh, versus women. Mm-hmm. So I'm on the same line as you. But. And uh, I know there's, if there's crossing there's a of a line, if yeah, you're there's a difference. A line, I get it. No, I get it. But there's I, a difference because I'm not thinking about that when I'm talking to these people. Like when so, I'm talking to these people, I'm just talking normal. So and here's the thing, though, too, for me, having guy friends, when I say who one of them is my mechanic. Yeah. And his dad has been my mechanic. I mean, because they have again, since I was four. So. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I was talking to so-and-so, and he said, and they all, everyone just looks at me. I'm like, what? He's been my friend since I'm four. Like, we have conversations. Especially right. when I'm sitting there waiting for an oil change and, and tires rotate and stuff. We yeah. sit there and play catch-up. Well, see, that. I mean, I don't see that there's anything I wrong with that. And then I feel obligated to explain to people who do not know the scenario, which really is really none of their damn business either way. <laughs> No, it's not. (laughs) If he's a boyfriend on the side, I was at your business anyways. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I just, I have to stop doing that. But anyways. At the same time, like, let's say you're, you're talking to these people, right? These people that you've known for your whole entire life. You didn't go and 
neglect your family or or stop doing the normal things that you're doing and cross that line with him, let's say, or any guy friend. You know, you didn't neglect all of that. You you still were at home. You still were taking care of the kids. You still was, you know, were being a great wife. But you can have those conversations with those people, you know, because you're used to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and and I don't find that there's anything wrong with that. Um, however, if you are neglecting your family and you're preoccupied with that person and that person is all that you can think of all the time, um, then I think, yes, there's a problem with that. Okay. So I'm going to start with the responses. That's what I was okay. just looking at. <laughs> yes. Okay. Someone wrote, of course it is real. And honestly, it's probably even more damaging than physical cheating you are investing your time and emotional i don't have enough light in here mm-hmm. emotional wherefall um with someone other than you should be right <clears throat> well i guess that depends on who you're with and how that is too well, because if you go and you're sharing your thoughts and feelings, there's obviously something very lacking. Right or wrong, something very lacking. Yes. Yeah. You know. Um, so I, you know. I mean, I can give you an example of my my relationship that I had before. So I had this relationship and. um he felt as though I was constantly judging him or constantly, um, I don't know, not listening to him or putting him down or something like that. And I was like, for someone, maybe you can't, you're not aware that you're doing that. So that's why you have conversations and communication. Okay. To tell me, Hey, listen, this is how I feel, you know, but sometimes you don't. Right. Okay. So like you said, he went and he started talking to someone and this person, if he felt like he could open up to her, but he couldn't open up to me. Okay. Because he felt as though I was judging him and I get it. I get it. And I understand that. But then I was like, I felt hurt. I felt really hurt. And then I was like, well, why didn't you just talk to me? So here's the thing with using the term judging, being judged or judging. You are entitled to your thoughts and feelings. Mm -hmm. And because you make a comment about that doesn't mean you're judging. And I think For a lot of men, they feel like they're being judged. And women feel like, I think, that they're trying to express how they feel about a certain circumstance or whatever's going on or or their choice. Yeah. And they want to be validated and heard and not made to feel like that their thoughts and feelings while they're in this relationship are heard and respected and acknowledged. Right. Okay. Because I know in my situation, they're just not. Yeah. And if I say they're not, I am wrong there too. <laughs> so, right. You know, so, you know, sometimes it's easier to open up to that neutral person. Yes. You know, because um, you got to have someone to talk to as well. Yeah, you do have to have someone to talk to. Of and course. sometimes and it would be different if it was just a friend of his. And if it was a girl well, that he'd never yeah. crossed the line with before, Got but four. you know gotcha. what I mean? Yeah. So there was a little bit of, of trust history. issues in history in that. Yeah. 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 So. It's, it's, you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a fine line. It, it, it can yes. be such a fine line and then everyone has an opinion. And honestly, you know, I have better connections with other people and there's a reason for that. Yeah. Both male and female. Yeah, me too. Every every relationship that I have, whether it is male or female, I have a certain connection with those people. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't mean that it's necessarily a sexual connection. Yeah. It's just a connection that maybe I can say this to this person, but I can't say this to that person. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
Um, but that yeah. doesn't mean that I'm going to say, okay, come on, let's go back to my house and we're just going to bum, 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 you know, it's, <laughs> it's not like that. Like, come on. So or maybe it me, could be, you know. or it could be. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> But uh, my mind doesn't go there. You know, when I'm talking to those people and I know that those people are set in my life in a certain folder, I guess you can say, um, when they're set in my life in that kind of way, I, it, my mind doesn't go there when I'm talking to them. Mm hmm. You know, but guys, I guess, are a little bit different. Where well, they... it's it's funny. I had one guy tell me a few years ago, and I say a few years ago, it's been, gosh, I don't know, 10 years ago or so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know you used to have a crush on me in high school. Really? We didn't talk in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> I'm like, no, we talked in middle school. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, um. And he doesn't live local anymore, and he's married and has kids and stuff like that, and uh, he doesn't live local anymore. And I just thought it was so yeah. funny because I always took it as that we were just friends, and I told him, we were just friends, dude. Yeah. That's see, how I took it. That's They think a, little, a lot different than we do. And that's, that was a really long time ago. You're talking yeah. middle school because in high school, we didn't hang out at all. Middle school, <laughs> we did. I, high school, he got it confused. Went, I, he, <laughs> he got it confused. I was like, uh, no, no. <laughs> we did He's no like, such thing, mister. He's like, oh, I, I guess I guess not. I said, no. Yeah. And then we went about our day because it was fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There was nothing Well, you there see, you, were, you weren't thinking of that. You were just no. talking to him in middle school, and none of that occurred. And, and mind was, you, you're in middle school still. So, you know. Yeah, I was, I, and, you know, and I was... I'm kind of an interesting mix. I like dressing up occasionally when necessary and, and yeah. all that stuff, but I'm still pretty tomboyish. I just have more fun that way. I'm not yeah. a, I'm going to sit at home and break a nail kind of girl. I'm like, right. let's go dig in the dirt, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which I'm probably going to do this weekend when it's nice out tomorrow, maybe, but anyways, there you, go. <laughs> you, know, you know, so it, it was funny. Cause I was like, really? Cause I never even thought of you that way. Like it never crossed my mind. We became friends in school Mm -hmm. We hung out sometimes, usually with other people. I don't know. I just kind of thought we were a group of friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, and like you said, it's a fine line. I mean, it's if you're not as you as you age and get older, you know where to to not to cross the line, you know, where to put those people and you know how then to speak to those people. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, like, um, yeah, may, guys' minds, I think, go in that direction if you're having a really good conversation with, with a female. You know, I think the, the guy would be like, oh, this is attractive, you know, and so they're like, oh, well, maybe, I don't know. You know, Could again, be. for me, you got to be friends. You got to have that natural connection. It can't be yeah. forced. And, no, it can't be. You know, I don't know. I want, I would want sincerity. Definitely. You know, I, so. I would want honesty and sincerity. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, honesty, of course. Yeah. Someone else wrote, it's not more damaging, but it hurts way different. Seeking and or receiving things exclusive to your relationship from someone outside of it. I had no idea how many people basically think it's healthy to keep things from a partner. So let me tell you what, if you are keeping things from your partner, then you should not be with that person. Exactly. Because the if truth... you feel that insecure and it's an insecurity. Yes, it is. And it can be a conversation with anyone or what you're doing that with a girlfriend. Right. Or whatever plans you have coming up. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it, it's there's a bigger problem in in the relationship and it really is the least of the issues. You yeah. need to reevaluate everything. And um, so I don't necessarily think that they think it's OK. I think there's a sense of security yes. in in that. For me, it's a sense of security in some ways. Yeah. In uh, that case, yes. Definitely. You know, so. Um, so I get that perspective of it. But if you're not going through or living through certain things or handling certain things, uh, you may not understand 
Well, yeah. they have to reevaluate their, their relationship and sit yes. down and talk with that person. And if it doesn't go anywhere, then so decide what you, you want to do. When you say talk with that person, also it's very common, and I have run into it multiple times, that person sometimes does not want to have any kind of conversations, especially right. where it's anything that makes them look any little bit way negative. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if you well, feel, and then that's why, and then your and then your thoughts and feelings are made to feel not valued or insignificant. Yeah. Insignificant. Yes. So yeah. it's a vicious little thing. So it, it really is. Um, my ex told me that his greatest thrill was finding vulnerable woman, married woman, and making her fall in love with him. He destroyed three marriages that I am aware of, including ours doing this. Repeat that one more time. I got to I got to soak that one in. Repeat it one more time. My ex told me that his greatest thrill was finding vulnerable married women. Wow. And making her fall in love with him. He destroyed three marriages that I am aware of, including ours doing this. That is just ruthless. It's sick. It is sick. It's absolutely sick. It is. When it's I intentional, right. knowing that you're walking away and you're wreaking havoc in someone's life and they think they made a sincere connection, whatever's going on in their current relationship. Right. And destroying <laughs> other people's relationships. And, and people will say, well, if it was a strong, healthy relationship, it wouldn't be stored. Uh, well, there's definitely some truth to that in the sense that they wouldn't be talking to this guy in that sense anyways, that would make him believe he could do this to begin with. There is, but something's wrong with him. Something's oh, wrong something's with wrong him. with him. Absolutely. That, that he gets a thrill out of somebody being miserable. Like creating misery, not, creating yeah. drama, creating right. hurt. Yeah creating hurt and he gets a thrill watching those people go through that hurt. So yeah, there's definitely something wrong with him. Some insecurity about himself, some like self-esteem issues. I have no idea, but it's, that's not, no, no, <laughs> no, that's the, I don't even know what to say to be honest. And I find it interesting that he destroyed three marriages doing that. Yeah. That she's aware of. It's like how many uh, is she aware of now, or if she was aware of during the time? I took it, it as after. more during the time. During the time, okay. I took it as like when he hit the third marriage, she was done. <laughs> Which wow. is my question is why would you hang on so long? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, unless he told her after the fact. Well, how did she find he out? Told her that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, how she did she say. find out? She didn't say. Can you can you comment and say how you found out? It's very, I'm I can. Very curious. Stay tuned. I will. <laughs> yes. Come back to that one. Yes. I think it's more likely to occur where there's something lacking in their relationship with their significant other. It could be building resentment there or miscommunication and built that build walls in a way that makes the other person more open to opportunities of communication elsewhere. Yeah, well, I'm sure there's others. Uh, yeah. You know, you got to feel like you're ha you have something you're, you know, and you're getting something in return. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, that's, the, I love that's nothing the more than a good conversation. Yeah. Well, I that's important with, with anybody. Well, yeah. But that, and that's very important, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's any relationship. It's a basic. Exactly. It's a basic. Any relationship, that's like the building block of yep. your relationship is communication and having a good conversation with someone. Yeah. So, you know. And everyone's like, you got to go talk to your partner and you got to fix it. Well, sometimes you can't. No, oh, you can't. And sometimes you're so exhausted that you just don't even want to try anymore. Well, because you've tried so many times that it's like, oh, forget it. I'm yeah. tired of it. You just shut up and you can't going. be the only one trying all the time. No, you can't. It's it takes two to tango, baby. Yep. Um, someone else posted it could be that their partner is a turnoff to them. Well, then oh. why are you with them? <laughs> well, 
Maybe in the beginning they weren't. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. You know, time takes its toll. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Talking is pointless if one partner shuts down or accuses the other of arguing or making a big deal or criticizing. Mm. There are relationships that people can't get out of and other and the other person needs a connection. And that's the truth. Yeah, definitely. Everyone can say. You know, only you can fix it. Everyone can say you got to talk to him and you're not living it. You don't deal with it and you don't know what's been said to you. Yeah. To the other person to make you feel certain ways and how it's weight weight on you forever for however long, you know, and if the other person does shut down. And when you do speak up, they criticize you or belittle you or mock you. Yes. Why the hell are you going to talk? Right. Exactly. What's the point? What's the What's point? The point. Yeah. That's, you know. I had that in my last relationship, too. Yeah. It's like, you know, like every time I try to ask questions, he didn't like me asking questions. I'm like, I'm not asking questions. I'm just having a conversation with you. Like, so if a question comes up, like, no. And then it was like, you know, I just shut down. So I'm not going to talk anymore. So then one day he asked me, well, why aren't you talking? Why don't you say, I said, for what? For what? What do you want me to talk about? Exactly. What do you want me to say? Every time I say something, you say, don't ask me question. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't talk to me like that. Don't say this to me. Okay, well, then I'm not going to say nothing to you. How about that? And then and then when you answer that and that's your answer, I'm not saying anything because right. they don't like that either. <laughs> no, of course not. He didn't like that either. And so, I think that's that's that was the whole reason why, you know, when I mentioned that him going and opening up to this other person, I think is because, you know, I didn't talk to him that much, but he didn't realize why. Yeah. Well, and. Yeah, you got they everyone needs to realize that there is a consequence for their choice, good or bad. Exactly. You know, and uh, you have to live with them, good or bad, you yeah, know. You do. And um, yeah, you know, when you are made to feel like your thoughts, feelings and stuff are not valued, mm-hmm. eventually you just clam up and you move on. Yeah, it becomes right. easier to do everything for yourself by yourself. Absolutely. And there is a great peace with that as well. It is. It is. You're not dealing with the BS. No. And you're not thinking about it as much as you used to anymore. You just go and and go about your day. Hate to say this term, the new norm, and you just carry on. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. True. You know, sometimes you just click really well with someone outside of your partner that doesn't and shouldn't devalue the relationship you have with your partner. It could even be seen as Controlling and a red flag if your partner gets too jealous of you being friends with others. Yeah, that's the line that we talked about, too. Yeah. Well, if I go out with a girlfriend sometimes, there's, you know, an occasional issue. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And it shouldn't be, though. No. You know, it shouldn't be. What's what's the what's the problem? It shouldn't be any problem. I think that when you get stuck in certain habits or routines, when you have children, you know, I'm I'm very routine. Yeah. Person. Uh, when I had my kids, they ate dinner at a certain time every night, so they could hang out a little bit longer. Then mm-hmm. they had their baths. They could watch a little bit of TV, and they went to bed. Watching well, the TV and, and, was kind of downtime. The bath yeah. was kind of relaxing and soothing. They went to bed. So when you're in that rut for many, many years, yeah, <laughs> you know, and then they're grown and you had them young enough that they're grown and out of the house and you can do you, it, it becomes an issue. Yeah. On top of any issues you had prior in your relationship to what are these, the changes of the kids growing up with the cycle the what is that what do you call yeah, it the I don't cycle know. I guess yeah, yeah. the cycle yeah. I guess you know so you know um 
sometimes it just feels like you're expected to sit there and wait to die. <laughs> yeah, as no, you're as right. That sounds, but it's a legit feeling sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you know, it's like you know what I'm 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 doing me, and I'm sorry about whatever. Well, I mean, I, <laughs> like I'm not married or anything, but I think what ends up happening is, like you said, when you get into this ritual that you are doing for many, many, many years, and the, then the kids grow up and they're kind of out on their own, and they do things out on their own, and they don't really need you, obviously, as much anymore, then you feel like, well, what am I going to do with myself? So then you start finding new things and stuff like that to do. And your partner then, you know, may have some issue with that or problem with that. Um, but but then again, you have to talk, you know, with your partner about those things. And if that doesn't work, then, I mean, it's, it's hard when you get older because when you're not having the same rituals over and over and over again, you feel lost. You feel like, what am I supposed to be doing right now? So then you find comfort in your friends and, you know, sometimes that's where it's at. So, um, I have learned to value my girl friendships, mm -hmm. um, these last several years, I find great value in, in them. Um, I for do many, too. for many reasons, mm -hmm. for many reasons, um, and I wouldn't trade them for anything and I wouldn't go back to trade them for anything. And no. or to go back same. in time. Yeah, absolutely same. not. No, same. No, no, no you not know, at not at all. And um, yeah, I just think it's part of life and. It is part of life and either you're on board with that part of life and, you know, you've discussed it or you're just not. But when you get to a certain age, I think, and you've been together with someone for such a long time and the kids are gone, you just don't know what to do with each other because everybody was doing some, their job, I guess, their job in this relationship. Your job see, that is to doesn't to happen. That does not happen to everybody. No, it doesn't happen to everyone. No. Some people can can be okay with it and continue and be fine and do things together or separate. And then some people just can't find the median where it will work for the both of them. So I don't know. That one's a difficult one, to be honest. Like I said, I'm not married. I don't know the ins and outs of that stuff. And I, you know, I've been doing basically everything on my own and I'm very independent. So for me, I think at this point it's, it would be hard to, to be dedicated to someone <laughs> and have to get out of my independence. Well, it's hard to give up that independence. I find myself mumbling around the house going, it's just easier if I do it myself. Right. I have left to, less to do if I was just by myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, and uh, I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, we have mutual friends. And um, I just think I've always been really adventurous. And, um, and I think part of what made that happen was I was always a curious person. And again, with my parents' divorce, I came across and had some interesting people in my life as a kid that helped raise me. And they were adventurous. And I loved every second of it. And the idea of just my job is to work 40 hours a week, come home, clean the house, bathe yeah. the dog occasionally, do the laundry, is just shoot me now and put me out right. of my misery. This well, yeah, is not, yeah. I'm not living life to do anyone's laundry. No, you didn't sign up for that. You're I supposed did to, sign up for any of that. You're supposed to live your life right now. Your kids are grown. They're off doing whatever it is whatever. that they're doing. Yeah. And so now it's time for you to experience your life, you know? Yeah. And that's, that's the thing is like, you have to have a partner who is also into that with you. And that's the thing uh, with with a lot of relationships, you know, 
some relationships work because those partners at that time, they're like, okay, that's it. We're on the same page. We're going to go do this. We're going to go do that. Kids are grown out. We have no responsibility. It's just us two. And then that works out. But then there's other ones where it's like one is opposite than the other one. And that's why they kind of collide. Yeah. So, you know, we talk about social media and spending time on the phone with social media. I I spend my fair share of time on the phone with social media. I reach out to you. I check on Danny almost daily. I try not to bother her too much. Um, Give her some space. Um, You know, I chat with Crystal here and there, too. Sometimes Crystal and I chat a lot. Sometimes we don't. And that's okay too. And, um, you know, but you cannot blame social media for what people say or do or reach out who they reach out to. So if you had someone that you were in a relationship with for a long time on social media, have a conversation with someone significantly younger Mm -hmm. basically looking for other things yeah and when i say significantly younger it's actually pretty laughable but (laughs) i mean what would you do because it's a little bit more than emotional cheating well yeah or whatever you you want to call it that's crossing the line right there so that's crossing the line yeah that's someone you work with and stuff yeah i have conversations with my coworkers. they text me Mm -hmm. you know both male and female hey i'm not going to be there tomorrow can you make sure you handle this for me my kid is sick this happened blah 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 i've already sent in my phone call and stuff but i need you to check on this for me blah 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 Let me talk a little bit about what's going on and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, hunky dory and stuff. Um, I have guy friends. They're like, hey, how are you? Yeah. You know, I'm like, I'm okay. You know, and we chat and we go about and we talk about everyday life thing. I think that's fine. Yeah, it's I enjoy that. Sure. I enjoy that someone thought enough of me to reach out and say, hi, how are you? Right, and they're asking you. Male or female, because Danny does it too. Hey, how's your day? At yeah. the end of the night, every night, I, you know, not every night, most nights I ask her, how was your day? Yeah. You know, because I'm curious, how was her day? I know some days she's home, some days she's working. I work Monday through Friday, so she knows my set schedule. How was your day? It's nice to have someone say, how was your day? Absolutely, and someone to check on you and make sure that you're doing okay, you know? It's hard when you're when you feel... Like there's nobody there or somebody doesn't have your back with that in that sense. Yes. And it's nice, you know, to get a message and be like, oh, wow, they thought about me today. How cool yes. is that? You know, makes you feel good. It does make you feel good. Yeah. You know, it, it does. Mm-hmm. But but then again, like with your with your male friends, we're going to go back to just being male friends with your male friends. They, you're not crossing that line with anyone. So, and you're not looking for anything. You're just having a normal everyday conversation. You're checking on them. They're checking on you and that's it. There's nothing else. See, and that's, and the thing that bothers me is again, growing up in my neighborhood, it was dominated by boys. So if I wanted to play something more than Barbie, I had to play with the boys. I never right. thought twice about it from age three and up. It never right. occurred to me that we were all so different. Yeah. You know, they're out there playing dodgeball. I was out there playing dodgeball. We were out sure. there playing softball in the cul-de-sac. I was out there, you know what I'm saying? It just, right. it never, it did, it, you I didn't never make the difference. Yeah. I was just out there to have fun, you yeah. know? And I don't feel like that at this age, I need to justify to anyone who I talk to. I don't think you should either. I mean, what's, it's your business to be honest. Yeah, no. I, I kind of feel like it's my business. It I is think your it's business. anyone. And I think it's anyone's business is what I'm saying. Not just yeah. me specifically. Well, I'm and you're not really doing anything wrong. You're just talking. I'm not, I'm, I'm talking in general, you know, yeah. um, in general, yeah. you know, yeah. um, and when people want to make it something more, it really kind of pisses me off. Yeah, because the, you think about them like you don't know who I am, like you don't know me by now. Right. Like 
you know, looking at me like, okay, I mean, you're with me like for all this entire time. And you, if I'm talking to that person and you're making a big deal out of it, you don't understand how I am at this and point in time. So funny is we're definitely going to do a podcast about relationships at work with coworkers yes. in the sense that, oh my God, I work with a lot of women and some days I'm just like, mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but I value my male friendships too. I value all my relationships. I, every I do single too. one that I have, I do too. male or female, I yes. value every single one of them. But I think it's expected of women to value women's relationships, close more. ones yeah. more than just, you know, and if it's a man, oh my gosh, no, no. Yeah. I like when my guy friends reach out to me and say, Hey, how are you? All right. How's it going? How are things? They remember things that I tell them from however long ago. Well, and they're like, they're hey, whatever to happened you. to that, you know, or with that. or Because yeah. they're actually listening to you. And they're actually validating so you. so amazing. It makes me smile because it's like, yes, gosh, it they, they listened. Wow. <laughs> it is, no, seriously, you're and absolutely right. I know guys right. are like, oh, you're just bashing. No, no, it actually oh. comes from some... Uh, long-term experiences. <laughs> well, yeah, and maybe maybe whoever's listening, and if the guys are listening, like they need to take some notes because <laughs> seriously, no, seriously, like if we're all saying the same exact thing, I mean, somebody has to change something, right? Somebody out there. And that's a two-way road because there are women. Who do the same. Yeah. Who do the same. I don't yeah. ever want anyone to think I'm, yes, this is supposed to be the girlfriend minute. This is girls chatting about girl stuff, things we deal with, talk about how we feel. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a two-way road. Everything involving any kind of relationship is a two-way road. Of course. And, you know, if there's a real sincere connection life is short and you're not happy in your current relationship, then do something about it because That's life right. is short and you deserve to be happy. Yes. Absolutely. And, you know, get through the tough times and move on to be happy. You yeah. Know? You have to, you know, some of my best relationships besides my few close girlfriends are a few close, close guy friends that have been friends the majority of my life. And we cannot speak to each other for months at a time. And we just pick up where we left off and it's yeah, same. normal and, you know. Yeah, no, it's the same thing. But see, it's normal to you. It's normal because your mind isn't going that way and their mind isn't going that way because they know where you and them stand. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, it's so a little bit different. Yeah, it's so funny. My one guy friend, he just must think I am so naive. <laughs> so he'll be sitting there and we'll be, he'll, because his family, everyone's invited to our family parties. Sure. And there'll be conversation about relationships and sex. And he'll plug my ears standing behind me because he doesn't want me to hear what he, <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you, dude. <laughs> I know what you just said about what you had. Never mind. Right. <laughs> I won't get to yeah. about his personal stuff. But yeah. <laughs> that is funny. Like, I, I don't want her to hear. <laughs> yeah. He thinks of you like his sister. I'm like, a few oh, no, months I'm older than you. you. Stop that. <laughs> I'm protecting your ear bowls. <laughs> yeah, he was telling he was telling everyone in our group that, you know, we all grew up together. An experience of his that was that and he was plugging my ears because he didn't want me to hear. <laughs> sure. No, but that's cute. And I'm just sitting there going, I heard every word. Right. <laughs> I can and hear I was, you, dude. I can, dude, I can hear you. You're yeah. right behind me. You, get, yeah. you, got your, you got your drink and your fingers in my ear. <laughs> I can oh hear. God. See, that's yeah. a great relationship to have. That's yeah. a great relationship to have. And, and I wouldn't have traded, and, you know, and when my parents are going through the divorce and they knew what the family home life was, they're like, we need to get her out of there for the night. I would do sleepovers at their house and I would sleep in his bed and he would have to sleep out on the couch. There you go. See, you know, I mean, you're talking long term friends and long time, long, long time friends, majority yeah. of my life, you know. So, um, you know, yeah, leave us alone, man. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, and you're not going to get rid of those kinds of relationships just because 
somebody has an no, issue. No, I, I will it. never get no. rid of them. No, no. that's not a, re- that, that a relationship never, you hang on to for the rest of your life. I would never do that to him and a few others. I would, yeah. I mean, he used to jump through the hoops for me. It's like, oh, you want me to get up and bring you my car at that hour? He's like, fine, I'll bring you my truck to your house. Leave yeah. your keys outside and I'll take your car before I go to work at seven. I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, though, that those are the kind of people that you need in your life, you know? Well, he owes and me the house he lives on. I found it for him. So, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there you go. You owe her one. <laughs> he stole it, but that's a whole other issue. <laughs> but those are those kinds of people are very far and few between. They are. Yeah, they are. And you and cannot find them very much around. Uh, not nowadays. anymore. Not no, in this not day anymore. age. I think no. they have to have come from your past and gone with you through all the changes it, absolutely. and everything in between. Absolutely. Know. It's very difficult to find anybody like that anymore. You know, it's I just sad think to say it is. It, it, it is. I don't let everyone into my circle. So if I'm sharing personal stuff with you, then I've I've let you in some. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's different Same rings here. of the circle. I'm just saying. <laughs> yes, there is. I agree. I agree. I, you know, I have but if I'm sharing any, on my folders, <laughs> right? right? If I'm sharing anything personal with you, you're in a ring. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> and to get in further, you have to. That didn't come out right. So you can move up a level. No, I understand. <laughs> You know, that's built on time and uh, trust yeah, and communication okay. and honesty. Yes. All which, of that. you know, takes time and is the foundation of bigger and better things. Absolutely. In Absolutely. theory. <laughs> well, in theory, yeah, it always doesn't work out that way in real reality. But yeah. 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 It's okay. So, hope but, it does. yeah, I, you know. One can hope. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, basically, it was a lot of back and forth of the same type of things, comments. I mean, there were over 300. I wrote down the ones that were more significant because there was a lot, again, repeats, which I kind of expect. Yeah. You know, everyone's going to have their opinion. And it's it's. I think it's just going to be a little different for everyone because of life experiences. I mean, I grew up in a neighborhood dominated by boys with life experiences, uh, being there for me through my life experiences. And, you know, that formed some really strong bonds and friendships from, well, since we were little, little. And um, they still are, you know, I mean. Yeah. And they're rare, and I would not trade them. For anything. I would not trade my girlfriend relationships for anything. No, not at all. I would never trade any of my girlfriend relationships. I hold only a few close. Um, I can count them on my one hand, to be yes. honest. I don't have them counted on many other hands. And everyone <laughs> else, hands do you have? <laughs> every, I have 10 hands. Anyway, everyone else is just acquaintances. <laughs> You didn't know that about me? I just, at night, I change. I'm, I must not be in an inner tab. Yes, at night when in there's your, a full moon, I change. In your, in your folder, I'm not on that yeah. inner tab yet. <laughs> no, I just, you know, I just. Uh, but I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. No. yeah. I don't, um, I don't like to let people in. Too many people in, I should say. I don't like to let too many people in because then it gets catty after a while. Well, um, some can be catty, and those some, are the ones you have to yeah. keep out. Yes. You know. And so that's why, like you said, I, I only count my friends on my one hand, and that's it. That's all I need. <laughs> the I one hand? <laughs> just the one hand. I don't need to use my other hand. <laughs> Our hands. <laughs> Our hands. <laughs> or my multiple hands. <laughs> no, but yeah. yeah. You know, I just think. Um, like if I'm having a bad day, you know, I can text you, for example. Yes. And say, my day has been very emotional today. I don't know what's wrong yeah. with me. You know, and I, I can do that to maybe two other people that I know of. And that's it. That will actually listen and respond to me 
and that's it. And but, I always feel guilty if I miss your text because I'm at work. And I'm like, shit, I didn't even. <laughs> yes, but yeah. I do respond eventually. <laughs> yes. No, I do the same thing. And I'm you like, know. oh, man, Char just messaged me. I forgot to message her. And it's like uh, 1 a.m. Yeah, I know. And I'm and like, oh, shit, good. it's too late. Yeah. No, yeah, you can message. Late. My phone sleeps when I sleep. So, yeah, yeah. you can send a message. And <laughs> it's always nice to wake up to a message, too. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah is, you know, it always puts a smile on the face. So, yeah. yeah. But, um. Um, yeah, I'm the same here. There's a few that I value and I go to um, and uh, share or vent or have an emotional breakdown, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, and there's, you know, a few guy friends that I can do that with, too. Yeah, me, too. I have one guy friend that comes in here and he visits me and we usually have sit down and have coffee together and stuff like that. And I mean, he calls me his best friend or whatever. But I feel like I can sit down and talk to him about anything. Yeah. You know, if I wanted to say something to him, I know it's not going to go any further than him. But example. wouldn't that be nice to find that in like a real relationship? Absolutely. It Where you be. were comfortable to do that and know that they had your back and that it would not change the dynamics of anything. I would love that. That would be yeah. fabulous. But wouldn't it? Where is that? <laughs> I, I Hello? I don't know. Oh, Hello I, I, out I, I, there. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> are you hiding? <laughs> so it's funny because today um, at the restaurant they have a Winnie the Pooh thing, right? So where's this relationship? It's deep in the hundred acres. Oh, hundred acres. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm saying the poo pot. <laughs> it's where Christopher Robin plays. <laughs> right. But yeah, yeah, so I don't know where, yeah. where it is. I would love to find that relationship. I always dreamt of having that type of relationship where I can sit with someone. We grow old together. We ha we still care for each other, love each other, uh, trust each other, have good conversations with each other. You know, but then again, it's just a dream. Wake up, Pascal. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> Yeah, I find I find it frustrating. And I guess everyone every every relationship goes through something. They do. And yes, you know, if you really love them, you want to work it out. Yes. Or you try to or you, you something, whatever that is for everyone, you know. Ideally. Yes. Um, but it isn't that way for everyone. No, it's and not. I think what social media has brought out is the people feel like they have more freedom to air all the laundry. <laughs> oh, and do they ever? And not that you should be airing all the laundry on social media, but whatever floats your boat, because then they get mad when they're criticized. Well, honestly, you probably shouldn't put everything out there for everyone. No, you shouldn't. You got to keep secrets to yourself. And um, and then they're angry because they're criticized. But you put it out there. Exactly. You did this to yourself. Like, th you know, um, if I post a meme or whatever those little yeah. sayings are on, that are real pretty, it's not mm -hmm. really a meme. I don't know what they are called anyways. And it's just something that kind of I think is relevant some of the things I post, maybe some of my feelings at some of the times or at different times or thoughts or whatever I've had. But by no means is my true personal life on social media. <laughs> no, no. I don't believe that that's where it should be anyway. No. Social media is not meant for that kind of things, you know. It is not. I mean, every five minutes you're posting, I'm here, I'm there, I'm here, I'm there, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Like, stop. Like, I don't really care, to be honest. Yeah. Those yeah. are the kind of, those are the ones that I just like kind of fly by. Well, I'm talking about two relationships where they post yeah. too much stuff. Oh my gosh. And, um, I mean, I had a guy message me recently. Are you Okay. And it was a question for the podcast. <laughs> and it said, ladies. <laughs> I was going to say, didn't he get it? Because usually you say lady. When it's on my personal page, I say ladies. <laughs> if it's on the girlfriend minute page or the sweet and sassy page, it's for us girls. Right. 
but when I put it on my page and it's ladies, and of course there's always the few men that have to put in their two cents worth. And I just like delete, delete. Right. Right. I didn't ask you, dude, Right. <laughs> you know, and he's like, well, seeing how you don't have any female pages. I'm like reading this. I'm like, really, you don't know Jack about me, buddy. Exactly. I know you from the magnet program. My kids wearing up a tarpon. Your stepson <laughs> was in the same program as friends with my son. And why are you messaging me? <laughs> right. For what? And he was like, you know, he said something. I said, dude, I just want you to know something. I don't ever per- post my personal life on social media. So you don't you don't need to message me and ask me questions because he's looking for answers. He's the same guy that hits on every so often. Yeah. And unfortunately, I feel bad for him in the sense that his son died right before Christmas. Oh, my. And his son was 30 something years old. Wow. And he was in the hospital and whatever infection ended up being pneumonia and those things. And he just never came out of it. And from what he was posted. And then he's like, well, then he's telling me, well, seeing how you don't have women pages. How do you know I don't have women pages? Right. Exactly. Who I do think you he think was you just are? Oh, he's fishing. That, yeah. Yes, I said, well, fishing. I do. And I and I the post says ladies and I haven't heard from him since. <laughs> Because I don't care. <laughs> no, and you're not a lady. So get over it. <laughs> get over yeah. it. Just looking for it. And I'm just like, dude, you know, one more message from you and you are blocked. <laughs> no, exactly. I don't, I mean, I don't blame you. That's, I think he was just searching for you to answer him. That's all. Oh, yeah. He, he does every once in a while. To open he, the door. He's door and yeah. The door's not opening, dude. There's right. bars on the door. <laughs> Even if it opens, you still can't see me. Yeah, you still can't get in. Yeah. It's a special secret knock you're not being given. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a girl that's on my social media, and I actually used to babysit her when I lived in Florida. She used to live right across the street from me. Her life has become such a turmoil, okay, and I don't, I mean, I don't know what's happening or going on in her entire life, but she posts the most craziest things about her relationships, like, and she gets together with these guys, and then she'll post, like, for example, uh, when she was together with her children's uh, dad, Mm -hmm. she would post, oh, well, I went to jail for you and Oh um, good lord. <laughs> and yeah, I went to jail for you and this is how you can treat me by keeping my kids away from me and get like why? Why are you saying stuff like that? Like just Well, they're probably wanting attention and sympathy. I, I think that's poor me. I went to jail for you. Well, no, that was stupid. You don't ever go to jail for someone. <laughs> right, you're an idiot. Why would you fucking do that? Yeah, oh, no, it's, because I, I loved you. No, she was, because I no, loved you. no. And then recently you didn't she, pull your head out of your ass. <laughs> exactly. And recently she got into this relationship with another dude who basically screwed her over, I guess, and took her car and she posted it on. If you see this car, blah, 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 this guy. And she said his name and, you know, you can go F yourself and do this. And just like posting all this nonsense, like classy. <laughs> that's what Which I is said. why you're attracting the guys that you attract. Thank you. That's You're exactly welcome. what I said. I just say what you think. Oh, you know that. Yeah, I know you do. I, know. I know. just finished my sentences. That's I why know. I love It's you. like we're one. <laughs> we are one. We are it is one date night. <laughs> it is date night, of course. And Valentine's Day is coming up. So. Oh, what you getting me? <laughs> yes. Whatever you want. Anything you want, honey. Anything you want. I'll send you the just list Just name later. it. Just <laughs> name it. I'll put it in order, you know, priority, and I'll send it to you. Yeah. <laughs> You know what's funny? Um, they have these cute little, um, so somebody made them. I saw them on IG, I believe. Um, so you make them, and I can't, I don't remember how she made them, out of honey, I think, where she dried honey and she made them into balls, okay? And then in the balls, she put um, tea stuff. Like really? Sm- yes. Oh, how clever. Like, isn't it? Like a small little tiny lemon. Yeah. Okay. And then like a tea bag. And then she would, the the string from the tea bag was what you took it, the ball with. 
and then you put it inside your water. Where so, did you see that? On IG, isn't it? Wasn't that cute? Tomorrow in Shar's kitchen. Yes. <laughs> she will be. I thought that, that was honey. the cutest thing to do. And I everyone at be, work come Monday will have a honey ball. <laughs> yeah, a honey ball, exactly. I was like, yeah. wow, what a perfect gift. That's pretty clever. Yes. I like that. I like that a lot. That and I was clever. like, I have to order these molds so I can do the same thing. So she used a mold. She used the mold. Um, she used, you know, like um, a, a circle, mold. a silicone circle. circle mold. Uh huh. And then she spread the honey inside, and then she. Um, uh, actually, it wasn't honey. You know what it was? It was sugar. It was caramel. Uh, oh, oh, even better. <laughs> yes, it was sugar. And then she spread the sugar inside the mold and then put it in the refrigerator or in the freezer until it got hard. Once it got hard, then she put all her ingredients in her little bubble. And then um, she heated up the other one in the pan. And sealed them and together. Sealed them together. And that's how she created the, the tea balls. That is clever. Yes. That is a day project. It is a day project, but it's such a neat project. <laughs> it is a neat project. Yeah, that is pretty clever. I wonder what yeah. they just call those. Tea balls. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> tea bomb. Tea bomb. Tea bombs? Tea bomb. Is you that know, what like the them? chocolate bomb? Yeah. Similar to that. It opens, you know, a hot chocolate bomb. When you put it in your milk or whatever, it opens up and it creates it. So, yeah. Tea bombs. Tea bombs. Oh, look at that. Are you looking it up now? I did, you know, because yeah. I'm funny that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. But that's not her making them. That's like you can buy them. I don't want to buy them. I'm curious about making them. I'll have to wow. look it up. I'll have to look it up and send it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's it was really neat, to be honest with you. It was really awesome. Oh, yeah. You're heating the sugar. Found it. And then you she's spreading it. it in the molds. That's, that's it. That's the one. Similar yeah. to that. One. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. This. Th she what is she doing? Flowers. Though? She made yeah, it no, flowers. Yeah, no, not her. Not her. It wasn't not her. flowers. No, that's too much work. <laughs> Hers yes. were straight up balls. This straight one is, balls. looks like it's going to be. Yeah, that one, I think. Similar to that one. Yeah. She's put the stuff in the center. Can yep. you see? There we go. Yep. Yeah. Similar to that one. Hers are clear. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So for Valentine's Day, I was just going to get a bunch of Oreos and dip them in different chocolates and mm -hmm. then coat them with, you know, red sugar sprinkles or whatever and say, here you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Well, OK, so at work, my one coworker, her birthday is actually Valentine's Day. So I get um, I uh, send a message to some of my texts in the morning and I say, good morning, happy, whatever day roll call. You know, mm -hmm. and um, I'm reminded of her birthday coming up Valentine's Day and wants to know what I am baking her. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <sighs> and I was back there. They're so funny. And one of my other coworkers will message me occasionally. And I was back there. I was like, oh, I was talking to so-and-so. And she messaged me on Messenger. And my other text, like, you talk to other people on Messenger, not just us. <laughs> How dare you cheat on us? How me. dare you cheat on us? <laughs> exactly. How dare you? I was you. like, then I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down, everyone. <laughs> it's not like that at all. Exactly. Like, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. It's not the yeah. same. It's not, not the, the same, same at all. <laughs> not the same. I got to go check no, on no, her tomorrow, no. anyways. I got to check on her tomorrow. But, yeah. um, yeah, she's got some stuff going on. But um, so, yeah, so that was basically the podcast. The question for this week about emotional cheating. Um, I just think it depends on a lot of things. I really do. 
Um, I don't think it can just be defined. I do think that people do cross that line. I do think there is um, a such thing depending on, well, of course, what you're looking for. Yeah, that's true. And I agree with you on that sense. I, I, I don't think you can just pinpoint it to one relationship or why this happened or why that happened. So no. I totally agree with you. Everybody, every situation is different yeah. and you have to deal with it in your own, in your own way. I yes. Guess, so. You have to live with it and you yes. have to, you have to decide what you want out of life. And again, as always, life is too short not to be happy. Absolutely. Always so be happy. If you're not happy in your current relationship, then and you make it, especially if you've made a connection with someone else and you know that because you're at an age where you just know that it's not like, I know some people confuse themselves or they, I don't want to say wishy-washy. I don't know what you call it, but you're at an age like our age. Yes. And, and you know certain things about yourself. You know yourself well enough to know that this is different, you know. Absolutely. And, you know, life is just short. So it you is. Need, it, you need you to figure to out what makes life. you happy and you have to live your life and then you have to go do it. That's right. That's right. You sure do. Absolutely. It doesn't mean it's always easy. Some things are meant as a learning process, too. So. It, you everything learn and you live yeah. and learn so you live and learn and that's where that saying comes from live and yes. learn you know yes. um it's not black and white if it was so easy and so defined we would never have heartache and all the things that we go through absolutely so absolutely. and and i think that would make life very boring not that i enjoy certain things as excitement but nonetheless <laughs> it would yeah that's yeah. true but i mean you know I'm not looking for that excitement, that kind either, but no. it's okay. No, yeah. but definitely if, especially if you think you found someone that could be your person for whatever it is you're looking for in life, go for it. You only get one chance. Yes, absolutely. And I, like you said, if you're miserable in the life, try to find an, a way to reinvent it. So. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can sit here and talk about it and talk about it. And, you know, I am sympathetic to a degree, but when it becomes your habit to yes. always talk about it, but not take the steps to make it better in any way, then you're making a choice. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have learned that if I'm sick of even hearing myself, I stop talking about it <laughs> and I try to start working on the steps to take action to make things better for myself, whatever that is. So mm -hmm. yeah, I have learned live and learn. Yeah. Live and learn, live and learn, live and learn. So. And everybody take care of your relationships, especially the ones that, um, you have. bring you joy Absolutely. and happiness. Yes. Yes. Keep those and relationships. Make you smile. Close. Absolutely. Keep them close to your heart. You only find them once in a lifetime. So you do don't give yeah. up being you for one person. You will regret it. You will definitely once you realize that's what you have done. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, that was a great topic. That was a good one. I think everybody goes through that um, phase in their life. Yeah. So it's good that we got it out there, and I hope everyone enjoyed listening to us. Um, and thank you for the, all the comments. We really, really appreciate that. I was like taken back. Things are like. Woo! I, I don't know. I don't even know how to say. I don't even know. It gets exciting. To say. It does get exciting. It, it gets exciting. As I see them coming in, I get excited. And I'm just yes, and there. we appreciate each and every one of them. Continue to do that, please. Mm -hmm. um, if, and if there's something you guys want to listen to or if you guys want to hear, um, please comment below. And uh, Shar will get to it. Um, and I'll try to help her as much as, much as I can. <laughs> But she's doing all the work. So <laughs> good job. Trying to, trying to. It's a learning yeah. process, that's for sure. Yeah. You can find us on Spotify, Amazon, Samsung, Podcast Index, Listen Notes, Apple, Google, Pandora, TuneIn, iHeart, Deezer. Uh, we also have Facebook and Instagram. Our latest addition to the family is TikTok. Have not been able to, well, working on putting the podcast in formats that they can be uploaded to TikTok. 
and YouTube. So that's a work in progress. Live and okay. learn. <laughs> yeah. Well, once Char has all those up, please make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Right. Hit that and, bell you... and make sure to subscribe to our channel. So it's more avenues to leave comments. Yes. And say, hey, I want to hear this. Or let's talk about this. Um, and then we'll go take it from there. There you go. Right. Don't forget to subscribe. Right. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Don't forget. Okay. Well, as always, my dear, it's been a great time. My Friday night date. Thank you. It, it has been the most <laughs> wonderful date ever this evening, and I appreciate it. So, You're bringing the food next time. <laughs> I am bringing, I'll bring the drinks. You bring uh, the food. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. You got the restaurant. Something's wrong. I do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do. Something's okay. wrong. <laughs> I'll bring the food. What does it take to get a grape leaf? Come on. You got it. <laughs> I'll send it through the camera. <laughs> wait, wait till that comes because yeah. I am, I will be sitting here waiting. <laughs> oh my God. You know, it's probably around the corner. Who knows? Right. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. As well, always, right. my dear, it's been a good time. Yes. It's been a pleasure. Yes, my my good good friend. You same, my longtime friend. Longtime friend. Yes, long time. Friend. Yeah. Uh, nine years old, friend. <laughs> I was eight. <laughs> well, you were eight. Okay, I was nine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am. I am younger. <laughs> I am, as I tell Murphy, the baby of the family. <laughs> yes. You are the baby of the family. I'm yes. the baby of the family. <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> Have a good night, okay. my dear. You too. And until I, next time. Uh, yeah, until next time. All right. Bye. Bye.